Hi, it's Lee, and welcome to the Tesla Economist. Right now, Tesla's stock price is back to where it was in 2020. Granted, towards the end of that year, but in two more months, it will be two years ago. Same stock price in two years. Well, in that Q4 2020, Tesla made a net profit of $270 million. And that was only because of a $400 million in regulatory credits. Yet the stock price is the same today as it was then. Now, compare this to Q3, which is going to be around $5 billion in net profit. That is 18 and a half times as much net profit, yet the same stock price. That would also mean that is a P ratio of 18 and a half times lower than two years ago. Tesla has done so much within that time. But whenever I say things like this on Twitter, I'll get the odd Tesla hater retweeting it saying, I'm crying Tesla fanboy or something, but I'm not complaining about the stock price not moving when I say these things. I'm just illustrating how far from reality the market is when it comes to valuing Tesla and trying to use that information to predict the future of the stock price, as tough as that clearly is. But put it this way, do you really think Tesla will be this same price in one year's time? Well, how about we calculate how many times more we expect earnings to be one year from now. Of course, it will be cheating to take the Q2 earnings. So let's take a Q3 estimate of 5 billion, then estimate where we will be roughly in one year's time, i.e. Q4 2023. We don't need this to be super accurate as we're just trying to guess roughly how many times more it will be more than today. Actually, not today. How about December 2023? i.e. three years difference from when the stock price first hit this stock price. And how many more times earnings will be going back from there and work out if we really expect to have a similar stock price as we do today. How about we start with a quick historical recap on Tesla's stock price and see if we can determine how long it can remain flat before it does break out. It IPO'd at what is now about $1.30 post split price. In July 2010, three years later, it was at $6.80 that's an increase by about 5.2 times, just in three years. However, in March 2013, the stock price was still only around $2.35, which is less than double, which is still quite good. But obviously, this was a big jump three years later. I mean, it kept running again to over $15 in March 2014 too. So it ran for about a year and went up almost six times. Then the stock didn't increase to $25 until June 2017, another three years and only increased 66%. With many stressful ups and downs, it was still that price again in December 2019. So if you held from March 2014 to December 2019, you'd have only gained 66%. On top of that, you would have actually been down in June 2019 from the COVID dip. So you had to hold about five and a half years and go through some extreme dips and only be up 66%. However, holding on for another year took you $407 at the peak in November 2025, up 20 times. That was some tough holding though. Well done to all of you who accumulated during that time and didn't doubt the potential of this company. It was tougher back then. Tesla hadn't proven that electric vehicles could be profitable at mainstream prices. Oh, Tesla don't make mainstream priced vehicles. Well, I beg to differ back then. They started at $35,000. Anyway, over that period, we had the reveal of the Model 3 and even saw it hit volume production. And yet the stock still remained within a similar trading range the entire time. Back then, it was clear that they had the margins. They just needed to ramp up enough to cover OPEX and it could start to be highly profitable. Even selling about half as many cars as likes of BMW or someone didn't seem that unreasonable to assume. And the rest was history. And now we're at similar crossroads where we're waiting to see if they can ramp up the 4680s to high volume production. Anyway, the question is, what will the stock likely be three years later from when the stock initially hit today's stock price? Now, prior to that, the stock price was far less quantifiable. It was really a lot to do with what Elon was saying and expecting for the company. He was doing amazing things with rockets at the time too. He was an incredibly impressive CEO and didn't yet have this reputation of being late on delivering. Whereas nowadays, he can literally say things like FSD will be complete this year and it won't move the stock price at all. Anyway, now the market just takes whatever Elon says as hyperbole and some of it is so far out and unbelievable 
that it becomes just that. Unbelievable. So the market just sticks to what it knows. Numbers, financials, data and history. Historically, companies of this magnitude can't grow at the level the Tesla bulls expect. So none of this growth we expect has been priced in, as the market doesn't think it's going to happen. So it will have to measure Tesla's success by what it can show in the financials. However, these days, Tesla is becoming highly profitable and can demonstrate its growth where it matters in the financials. So how much can Tesla's financials grow by the end of next year? Well, we have two new factories that we should expect to see a lot of growth from. I know the real potential is based on 4680s ramping, but other sole manufacturers that can supply Tesla are also growing exponentially, with a lot of new factories coming online over this year and next alone. Tesla will be able to source sales either way, perhaps not as many, not as good, and not as profitably, but there is still a lot of growth potential with these two new facilities that have a huge capacity, along with a new factory in Shanghai, and more than likely, more ramping up of the existing. How about we say that for this Q4 2023, Tesla are at a total run rate of 3 million vehicles a year. This would mean 750,000 vehicles produced for that quarter, about twice as many as Q3 will likely be. Wow, that would mean Tesla have doubled production in a year. Well, a year and a quarter to be exact. Now these numbers could be a lot higher if things did go well, but lately they haven't been. So this is possibly a more realistic scenario. We'll have an ASP of just $52,600 assuming that perhaps Tesla have had lower prices to reach this demand in case the economy is still not in the best shape and an average margin of 34%. Let's just do some quick financials with this. Keep FSD about where it is today. When I do some rough financials, I get these numbers. After plugging these figures in, I get around $12 billion in net profits for Q4 2023. So we have just under twice the deliveries, yet we have 2.3 times as much profit. So over these full three years, profit could have increased nearly 43 times as much. So do you really think the stock price will be the same as it is today? Okay, perhaps the stock price can run ahead of itself when the market gets overly excited and it hits escape velocity. But still, this is a massive discrepancy. But I would agree that the market did go over the top and has at other times gone far too low too. I mean, add to that, Tesla has been facing all the COVID issues over this period as well. And perhaps the market has based Tesla's future growth over the growth it was achieving during the COVID crisis. Remember how many headwinds Tesla was suffering from back then. Three months shutdowns, Shanghai shutdowns, supply chain issues, chip shortages, and the rest. And perhaps a lot of this future growth was in anticipation of Tesla getting their 4680 line running a lot earlier. Like we were told on battery day, 100 gigawatt hours in 2022 but we are hopefully past all these COVID issues, although we're still feeling the consequences as the check has just arrived in the name of inflation and how that will go is anyone's guess. Bottom line, the stock swings too much either way at times and takes its time to find its proper price. Efficient market hypothesis isn't as efficient as its name may imply. There is a chance that all this suppression of the stock price we're seeing now is just temporary and we will actually see the inflation of all this money printing eventually take its natural effect in the economy and increase the stock accordingly. So although the stock price will rise as a result from that too, it's not a real increase, just nominal, as a dollar is not worth as much as it once was. However, this is another advantage of leaps, as when it comes to exercise them, they will cost relatively less. So we've now discovered that Tesla would have increased their profit by 43 times within just three years. And although the stock price is the same today as it was at the start of that period, do you think it likely that it remains at that with 43 times growth in profits? And this is solely the stock price being moved by profits. We're not including any of the other major exciting events we might experience over that time too. The stock price just feels compressed to me, but we don't need to be concerned by it as we can see the company should have roughly increased earnings 43 fold over three years that's much more important than the stock price. Over time, the market will catch up and start to realize just what Tesla is doing and it will likely overreact again, except this time the good way. Thanks for listening. Please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter and talk to me on Patreon.